Assalamu alaikum my name is Usman Chaudhary and you are watching Technology Explored in this video I am going to tell you how you can make these type of countersink holes in your parts so keep watching this video till end so let's start first of all click on front plane and then sketch on it then use center point rectangle and start drawing it from origin now define the width of the rectangle 50 millimeter and length of the rectangle is 100 mm then go to features tab and from here select extruded boss base command extrude it up to 20 mm and drop down this option and from here select mid plane and then press okay button now uh, sketch on this face and press control plus 8 key for normal to view, view orientation now draw two circles one on this corner and one on this corner define the diameter of uh, the circle to 0 mm now select both these circles and make their relation equal now define the distance uh, from this uh, line up to the uh, circle uh, which is 12.5 mm similarly define this distance 12.5 mm also define the distances uh, both distances of uh, this circle 12.5 mm so now our sketch is fully defined uh, go to features tab and uh, at this time use extruded cut command cut it up to 5 mm and press okay button now uh, click on hole wizard command in the features tab and first of all uh, these are the types of holes so we are going to make countersink holes select countersink option then these are the standards select your own desired uh, or standard and then these are the sizes so basically this option is asking you to tell the system for which uh, size of screw you are going to make hole so i am going to make hole for for m4 screw then these are the fit options and if you want to edit uh, the default sizes check this option show custom sizing so from here you can um, define your own sizes then this is the end condition of the hole as we are going to make the hole throughout this part so select through all if you want to define um, some limit select blind and then define the limit or distance so now for now through all here is the head clearance so this is the depth of the head clearance so let's say 3 mm so once you have defined all these parameters then go to position tab and it will ask you to you to select the face on which you are going to make hole so for that uh, i'm going to select this face then press control plus 8 key from your keyboard and then drop one point here and one point here all done press okay button so now we can make its drawing so for that first of all we have to save this part after saving start from a new once again and then select drawing select a4 landscape and then select custom sheet size and press okay button for blank sheet and then on the left side select this part and import it scroll down and from here check preview option place it press okay button go to sketch tab and select line draw it from here like this press escape key drop two points one point here and one point here press escape key press and hold control key from your keyboard select this point and this circle make their coincident relation or concentric relation again select this point and this circle make their concentric relation now pr again press and hold control key then select this line this line and this line go to drawing option and from here select and select section view and then select this option and you can flip the direction from here place it like this 
press ok button now go to annotation tab and select center line check this option select view for auto insert and then select this view and press ok button so now um, regarding scale of this uh, drawing select this drawing and then scroll down from here drop down this option and from here select 2 ratio 1 and press, press ok button this is how we can make these type of contrasting holes in our parts and this was the way to create the zigzag uh, cross section of the drawings so i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video and uh, thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this